Recent research into mega projects reveals a dynamic shift towards sustainability, governance, risk management, and social impact. A 2024 study introduced a comprehensive framework aligning mega projects with sustainable development goals, emphasizing global challenges and stakeholder perspectives. In China, governance research highlights social stability risks and innovative transaction systems with a growing focus on enriched governance structures. Cutting edge approaches like integrating model-based system engineering and heterofunctional graph theory are advancing management practices. Safety decision-making also remains a critical area for improved outcomes. Managing mega-projects presents significant challenges due to their complexity and openness. In recent years, numerous studies have emerged in organisational management to enhance the efficient allocation of resources in mega-projects. However, despite the existence of segmented research in this field, a comprehensive review that captures the overall status, characteristics, and limitations is lacking. To address this gap, this study aims to conduct a systematic literature analysis of existing research from an organization's science perspective. Through an analysis of 102 relevant research articles, eight main research directions are identified, including stakeholder management, organizational behavior, inter-organizational relationships, organizational structure, social responsibility, organizational environment, government governance, and organizational culture. Furthermore, this paper provides a detailed overview of the characteristics and limitations of current research in the field of mega project organizational management, encompassing research content and methods. Building on these findings, five future research directions for mega project organizational management are proposed sector through the implementation of a variety of regulations across the world, till health and safety issues are increasing rapidly. Meanwhile, health and safety issues on construction sites are still significant in terms of a consistent high number of work-related illnesses and injuries in the construction to recent statistics from the Health and Safety Executive, HSE. Interest is growing on to support the designer to take care of health and safety from the design stage in building construction with regards to techno-commercial aspect. This is a fact that design influences to a great extent the nature of these hazards that are in building construction, meaning that the hazards need to be eliminated or minimized at the designing stage. Safe design demotes that in the hazard be identified and risks are assessed early in the design process to minimize or eliminate the injury risks during the life cycle of the project. Based on an extensive review of the causes of work-related illnesses and injuries in building construction, including mining production, this paper identifies a set of technical issues relating to building design. By presenting a new evidence-based health and safety analysis, abbreviated to EHSA approach for designers, architects and engineers to use towards safer design for construction thereby, reducing work-related injuries and illnesses on site and decrease the economic losses. The research into EHSA is intended to evaluate an innovative way to facilitate evidence-based learning in building design with the collection and use of data and information accumulated from professional knowledge about fatalities and accidents, along with best practices and innovations in field of health safety management that have proven to be effective for the construction industry. Through an experimental case study, this conference paper will demonstrate how the EHSA approach can help in effectively supporting health and safety improvement at the design stage. The paper is anticipated to contribute significantly to existing body of knowledge by introducing a new framework in safer building design by providing an innovative approach with an evidence-based experimental case study to innovate future practice while also leveraging the findings for improvement in health and safety management. I have added citation in the description box. Please follow, like and subscribe for more updates.